left turn, we're going to go exit Glacier. They have a really nice little cruise port here. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? They organize big buses. We're heading to the glacier. The terminal is where the original Alaskan Alaska Railroad ended or began. Down the mountain, hanging glacier, this horizontal crack lines, nice blue color today. Eight hours to hike to the end of the trail and back. Well, we're not doing that. Glacier Overlook Loop Trail. It's tracks, huh? Yes. Are there many around now or now? Um, usually? There is mostly like in the mornings or at nights. You'll see some moose. They don't really like to come around here when there's all these people. Yeah. And especially when it's so hot outside, they yeah. like to go into some hell higher elevations. Really nice visitor center. In 1917, the glacier came all the way to here. It's very pretty, but I'm telling you, there's nothing like being in a zodiac and pulling up next to a glacier. Needless to say, this is all glacial melt coming off the glacier and the snow fields. To give you a little perspective, the glacier came to where I am standing in 1951. These little fuzzy things that sort of look like big caterpillars are willows. I've never seen a willow like that before. You know, it's the old story, when life hands you lemons, you make lemonade out of it. And that's what we're doing here in Kenai National Park. Walking and admiring wildflowers and glacial melt and the glacier. This is downtown Seward. Seward was founded in 1903 when the steamer Santa Ana arrived in Resurrection Bay. And here is the famous Mile Zero of the Iditarod, the 1910 Seward to Nome route. I think I would faint if I ever saw Seattle for more than one one-hundredth of a second. You see them and then they're down again. The adult males average nine feet and are 1,500 pounds. They don't bark, they grumble growl and roar. Miners blazed trails from Seward to the gold fields long ago and the system of pack and sled trails, wagon roads, and railway beds became the famous Iditarod Trail. Steve and I are going to walk the original Iditarod Trail back to the ship on a beautiful trail along the sea. Great RV parks spread along the sea. Our ship is half the size. 
of the Mariner. Got some mega big RVs. Huge. According to that, that's Mount Alice there. And Godwin Glacier over there. It's six miles, 9.65 kilometers. The highest peaks, Mount Ava and Mount Alice, are named after the daughters of Frank and Mary Lowell, who were the first to homestead the Seward town site. Back home, it's 40 US dollars for a small fillet. And the seagull isn't going anywhere. He's waiting to attack it. Resurrection Bay is a fjord just like one finds in Norway, but here the mountains are steeper, taller, and more rugged. Here we've got an orca that actually sits still. The train runs from Seward to Anchorage to Fairbanks. There's the Kenai Peninsula a little closer. Anchorage up there. There's Resurrection Bay, Long Bay, uh, sort of going inland, and Seward is at the end. Uh, what happens when you have fjords and earthquakes? You get tsunamis. 1964. It was devastating, uh, the tsunami here in, in Seward, because it just channels that energy into the shallow end of the Kenai Peninsula. Those are the Kenai Mountains, down the, uh, the south, southern and the eastern side, and Kenai Fjords National Park is all along the coast.